So my 900 day juice fast starts today. I figure we'd talk about why I'm doing it. Why did I choose juice over water? What are the differences? Because I've done a 21 day water fast. That's not happening again. He's in the ocean. So day one was yesterday. It's so far so good. Don't look at the stop sign as a symbiotic, symbolic measure to stop the juice fast now. That's not what that meant. That's not even, the universe doesn't work like that. Day one yesterday, here's just talk about what's happened so far. I drank nothing but juice yesterday, not one bowel movement. That's how constipated I am. Starch, you're the devil. But so far so good. Not bad, I slept so deep last night. Usually I wake up several times just to like turn and I notice it. I change my earplug from this side to that side so it doesn't stab into my brain while I sleep. I didn't, I woke up once to pee. We all knew that was gonna happen. I must have peed 700 times yesterday, but we got through it and so far so good. Just orange juice and grape juice. I finished off my one carton of coconut water. So that was my cheat meal. And now it's pure, just fruits and veggies. So as someone who did a 21 day water fast, the whole time, not one bowel movement. I was doing enemas hoping to get something out. I, leading up to that fast, I ate nothing but raw lamb meat and I could just feel it building, getting bigger. I want to flush. That's what a juice fast will do to you. You'll never remove, if you have mucoid plaque and if it's real, you'll never get it out with just water. You need the astringent fruits and a broom. Psyllium husk, clay, that's good times. In my opinion, a water fast is more for the spiritual benefits. That's a big ass truck. That's, that's what my bowels move like, slow moving train. It's not even here yet. But spiritually speaking, that water fast changed my life. I was so happy, I was just bursting. I was laughing, laying down on the wooden floor just laughing at the universe. Like, I can't believe how happy I am. It was so amazing. Sure, it was just adrenal hormones firing and depleting themselves, trying to keep me alive, but that was good times. And the law of attraction was just coming to me in abundance. I had viral videos left and right, and I was like, I've made it, <laughs> I've made it. That's what a water fast will do to you. It'll teach you who you are and who you should be, but it ain't gonna do, it'll clean your cells. It's a cellular cleanse, but the stuff goes nowhere. Where's it going? Where's the juice fast will flush you. It gets rid of the stuff you have in your body. Whereas water fast, it's like each cell is releasing stuff. I guess you do pee out some stuff. And if you sweat in Thailand, but it's so dehydrating. Whereas this is flushing the gates. My work is digestively speaking and I need to flush those towers. So my plan is to go, if I can do 90 days, I'll do it. We'll see what happens. My last juice fast was 13 days and I had so much diarrhea. I was literally running to the bathroom every like 10 minutes. I was like, oh my God, it was exhausting <laughs> and dehydrating. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Obviously I'll break it if that happens, but we're praying. And then we flush the gates, little psyllium husk, mucoid plaque flushing, and then we can actually digest food again. And will I be a raw food hippie guru? Probably. Why not? I've always believed in the raw foods. I'm not going to lie to you. I wish I could have the rice and bean meal at the end of the raw food meal. It's delicious. So we'll see. But if I feel fantastic, I will do it. But man, I feel so inspired to do this. It just feels like the right time. It's spring. Fruits and veggies do exist. Right now, I'm going to get some organic grapes right now. They're on sale and I'm just praying to the universe to send me the sales. Organic grapes, $1.99 a pound. I do feel like that water fast did heal a lot. If only I didn't break it with raw eggs. I was fine after the first egg. I got very tired and depressed after eating it. That should have been a warning sign. And then I ate like two, an hour later or something. And then three. And then by the night, I was like hungry and I had all this raw meat in my fridge raw lamb that was raw from before I started the 21 day. You can imagine how old it was. Chicken livers and I think chicken hearts. And I just started eating a bit and then I started getting the cramps. 
Then I head to the emergency room. It's a good time. Imagine if I didn't do that. And I just broke it with watermelon like a normal person. That would have been so beneficial. But whatever. I, I got back on a juice fast very soon after that. And then, like, I wasn't reacting to the sugar in the same way I used to. I feel like I healed a bunch of stuff on that water fast. But now we're doing a juice fast. I've been watching a bunch of testimonials. There's a bunch of great people doing this stuff. Raw Vegan Rising. There was another guy. He's Ben Brock or something. There's no way I got even close. I'll put his channel right there. There's a bunch of people with great juice fasting information, although most of it's coming from John Rose now. I just re-watched his two-hour lecture, and I'm like, oh, everything you're saying is what everybody else is repeating? We're monkeys? That's basically all YouTubers are. We hear something, and then we repeat it. At least pretend that you don't know what you're talking about, and you got it from... Oh, that guy almost died. <laughs> Every time people cross this bike path, like... Oh, I don't have to look. Oh, no. <laughs> they don't see the path. <laughs> oh, death will be had. It's because people are used to seeing this car parked right at the curb. So once you pass the car, you think you're safe, but you're not, as I will demonstrate to you now. Oh, no. <laughs> I almost kill people every day on my scooter. I'm just, I'm aware there's going to be a moron walking, so I slow down in preparation for the morons. So the juice fest. There's a lot of people out there, a lot of great... It just seems to be a life-changing episode. If you can push past and you actually release a bunch of stuff, you have all the energy you'd ever need. It's pretty early in the fast, but I feel fantastic. And I'm doing... Uh, we're going with an intermittent fast of eight hours which is like the sissy one. It's not a real intermittent fast, be real with yourself. But juices, you can't stuff it into one juice a day, you'll die. You'll pee out your liver. You'll pee way too much. You can't absorb that much liquid in one go. So I'm doing a 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. juice feast extravaganza. And then we stop at seven, go to bed at like 9.30, so I don't pee all night. So far, so good. Last night, just once. And I always pee once in the night. I have a little jar, we pee in it. It's good times, right? All right, I'll be coming back here. Organic grapes. I'm buying the whole shop. All that for 15 bucks. The grapes were on sale. 99 cents a pound. Oh, you son of a bitch. I was gonna go repair the gold chain my mom gave me and put it on the Q-Link. I'm scared, because he needs the Q-Link to attach it. I'm going to be without it for possibly, if it's any more than two days, I'm not doing it. I'm just going to duct tape the chain. I can't be without the Q-Link. Available down below. The energy increase. Affiliate links everywhere. opinion a water fast is more for the spiritual benefits and it is a cleanse and a repairing autophagy just masterpiece fixing all your cells euthening yourself although some of these water fasters are extreme they look freaky and then a juice fast is more to flush the bowels of nightmares little every little nook and cranny the gas i was having yesterday let's not even go there let's not even go We'll do a big dramatic before and after, hopefully a long ass time, 90 days. That seems to be the distance, but you're supposed to go until you stop seeing solid freaky things come out of you. I hope to catch a worm or something, like a nine foot worm, and I'll be my new pet. I'm expecting some serious breakthroughs with digestion and brain fog to be lifted finally. We're gonna get there. I'm gonna be so clear it's gonna be stupid. So. Let me know your tips down below if you've done a juice fast, a long one. Thumb up the video while you're down there. Thumb it down if you are going on a laundry detergent cleanse. It only cleanses clothes. 
not your body. There's poisons in there, even though it says it's natural. Sodium lauryl sulfates. It's going to give you ulcers. It's not going to heal as much as you thought it would. It's a waste of time. He disagrees. He's on one. I'm going to go. After you buy a vegetable police t-shirt. <laughs> Subscribe for everybody on the sandwich. By the way, I had a dream. Just a little side tangent after the video so the YouTube algorithms won't catch it. It was of Rump. I met him. He was saving a high school. And he told, he gave me a message. And said, I have to go deliver the mail for 14 days. And then he'll be back. So... I calculated that April 3rd or 4th, depending on if the message was from the night before. So April 3rd or 4th, he'll be back. And riding's out, and good times ahead. Then the whole disclosure, mask burnings, don't burn it, that's polluting. Good times ahead. There's a good chance that by the time I post this video, it's already the 4th, and none of that came true. But. It was a good dream. It could have happened.